welcome back to my channel. And if you are visiting this page for the first time, you are also highly welcome. In this lecture, we'll be looking at the blood supply and also the venous drainage of the ovary. The ovary is supplied by the ovarian artery, which is a corresponding name artery. This artery, surprisingly, is a branch from the abdominal aorta. The abdominal aorta is located within the abdominal space, while the ovary is located within the pelvic cavity. So in justifying why the ovarian artery emerges from the abdominal aorta is based on its embryonic development. During the development of form, the ovary is seen to develop around the abdominal space, which of course will descend down into the pelvic cavity where it will then be finally located. And as it moves from the abdominal space down to the pelvic cavity, it tends to drag the vessel down along with it. And this is why you see that the blood supply of the ovary, which is located within the pelvic cavity, is an emergence from the abdominal aorta, which is located in the abdominal space. So the ovary is supplied by the ovarian artery. The ovarian artery is an emergence from the abdominal aorta. So let's say this is the abdominal space, and inferior to this region, we have the pelvic the cavity. Within the abdominal cavity, we have the abdominal aorta. On the anterior midline region of the abdominal aorta, we have the emergence of the mesenteric arteries. Superiorly, we have the superior mesenteric artery, and this is what is highlighted here in black, and inferior to the superior mesenteric artery, along the anterior midline surface, we have the emergence of the inferior mesenteric artery, and this is what is also highlighted here in black. So on the lateral side of the abdominal aorta, on both the right side and the left side, we have the emergence of the renal artery. This renal artery here is seen to be highlighted in dotted red and is directed to supply the kidney. Inferior to the renal artery, we have the emergence of the ovarian artery. And this is what is also highlighted here in dotted red. So as the ovarian artery emerges on the lateral side of the abdominal aorta, you see it descending down to the pelvis where it will be supplying the ovary with oxygen and nutrients. So as we have this emergence on this side, we also have the ovarian artery emerging on the other side. As we know that we have two ovaries, we have the right ovary and the left ovary. So as it emerges, you see it descending down into the pelvic cavity where it will be supplying the ovary with oxygen and nutrients. So you see it emerging below the renal artery. Of course, it's an emergence on the lateral wall of the abdominal aorta. This we should take note. In the venous drainage of the ovary on the right side and on the left side are different. And we would be using this slide to explain or justify the reason behind this. For on the right side, the right ovarian vein is drained directly into the inferior vena cava. While the left ovarian vein is drained directly first into the left renal vein before it is finally collected into the inferior vena cava. So let's go back to this image here. This is where we have the right side and this is where we have the left side. On the right side is where we have the position of the inferior vena cava. If you look at where we have the abdominal aorta here, I like it in red. On the right side of the abdominal aorta, we have the placement of the inferior vena cava. We know that the inferior vena cava collects venous blood from the inferior part of the body, which of course we finally make with the superior vena cava to form the vena cava, which we finally drain deoxygenated blood into the right atrium. So collecting venous drainage or venous blood from the inferior part of the body, the venous blood will be collected and delivered into the inferior vena cava. So on the right side, so you see the right ovarian vein, this is the right ovarian vein here, I like it in blue. You see it being drained directly into the inferior vena cava. And if you look at the position of the inferior vena cava, you see that it is easier and also more direct for the right ovarian vein to be drained into the inferior vena cava. While on the left side, it is a different scenario. This is where we have the left ovarian vein here, also highlighted in blue on the left side. But you see it is first drained into the renal vein, after which the renal vein Vein, then further delivers the blood into the inferior vena cava. So you see that the position of the inferior vena cava is more directed to the right side. So it is easier for the right ovarian vein to be drained directly into it. While on the left side, the left ovarian vein is first collected or drained into the left renal vein before it is then delivered into the inferior vena cava. So at the end, the venous blood will still be collected and delivered into the inferior vena cava. So thanks for watching this video. 